Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2004 Mercedes-Benz uh, E320 sedan. And <laughs> as soon as I went to make this video, my dog uh, decided to lie down uh, in front of the car, and I just figured it would be easier to make the video anyways. So ignore Phantom for the time being. Uh, this is a uh, this is a two-owner clean title, clean Carfax car. This is a um, the sedan four-door version of the E-Class. It was uh, redesigned in 2000, I believe it was 2003, uh, and updated. Uh, this is a super clean car. It's, uh, it was bought new, it was titled and registered uh, in the state of Oregon, has been here ever since, and uh, spent all of its time in a garage. It's super clean and uh, well equipped. You've got uh, xenon headlights. You can tell that by that little bubble in there on the left hand side. You've got headlight washers. That's that little triangular. Um, fold out piece there between the uh, the two lenses. This is a navigation heated seats uh, car. It's got four brand new tires on it. It's uh, This car is perfect. It was owned by a uh, the wife of a um, car enthusiast here in the state and uh, she's uh, just bought a new car and so we're helping her sell this. Uh, as I mentioned the tires are brand new. It was just serviced. It's current on all its service. It's got regular service history uh, here at the Mercedes dealership. So it's uh, powered by a 3.2 liter uh, six cylinder engine, which has been a very good uh, engine for Mercedes. That particular engine goes back a long, long time. So uh, super clean, as I mentioned. You've got uh, rear fold down seats in the back, which is nice. So you've got a, a trigger switch here and a trigger switch on the right side. And then you've got a ski pass through system there. That window in the middle there is a, um, it's got a nylon sock in it so that you could put a uh, set of skis in it if you, uh, one up. So as you can see, so it's currently titled and registered in the state of Oregon. You've got, uh, I'm not sure if you've got a spare underneath here or not. I don't see a spare. So you've got a jack and all the tools. I don't see a spare though. So it's uh, common now with European cars, It's uh, they all come with run flats. So they've eliminated the spare tire and the spare wheel, which if you're familiar with Mercedes or BMW, they used to put a factory rim and a factory Michelin or Continental tire uh, in their spare uh, tire compartment, which of course added to the weight and of course added to the expense of the car, and they've gotten away from that now by doing uh, run flats. And we won't get into that, I'm not a fan, but... So you've got uh, black uh, trim. As you can see, very, very clean. No signs of wear and tear at all on the uh, the leather or the exterior of this car. You've got dual memory seats. You've got dual power seats. You've got power windows, locks, and mirrors. Uh, as you can see, as I mentioned, no signs of wear and tear. This is a very, very clean uh, E-Class. So these have just been very reliable, very durable cars. It's a ton of car for the money. Uh, it's the, uh, the mid-range or kind of the bread and butter of the Mercedes line. So their entry class is the C-Class, and then this is their, uh, would compete with BMW 5 Series. And um, so you've got adjustable suspension here. You've got uh, sh uh, shiftable automatic transmission. You've got a sport mode here. Uh, as I mentioned, the wood trim. I'll turn the lights on and get this illuminated. So you've got uh, dual heated seats. You've got ESP, which is a form of traction control. Of course, power locks. You've got a button here to turn the, um, or to drop your, um, your headrest down in the back. As I mentioned, this is a navigation car. Um, to show you that, so there's your map. Your audio system is here. You've got a uh, radio. You've got uh, all of your audio stuff. You've got a six disc changer. Uh, you've got satellite radio, which you would need to subscribe to, but uh, you've got Bluetooth ability. You have to go to Mercedes and have a um, the connection made for your phone, but you have the ability to integrate it with your uh, stereo. And uh, CD players, I mentioned, you've got a disc changer. You've got dual auto climate control, which sits up here. You've got uh, rear defrost. You have uh, climate control on the dash. Uh, as I mentioned, so you can see the wood trim, all that stuff. You've got a uh, sunroof here. You've got uh, home link, which is uh, three buttons here, programmable for security gates and garage door openers. You've got a multi-function steering wheel, which uh, means you've got audio control and uh, Bluetooth capability. Um, to go through here. You've got an onboard computer, so that tracks your gas mileage, your trip computer, your miles per gallon, your miles per hour, your service interval indicators. This allows you to scroll through that stuff. 
you've got a power tilt and uh, telescoping wheel. You've got cruise control. You've got driving lights, uh, fog lights. You've got... Um, there's a button. I don't know what it is, actually. Oh, that's your... So you've got ability to... Um, this is your Bluetooth system. So you'll see your Cancel. display as you're... Uh, as you scroll Cancel. through this uh, toggle bar up here. Um... That's it. This has got actually a full tank of gas. It's uh, 72,456 miles. Uh, as I mentioned, it's an 04, uh, two owner, clean title, clean Carfax car. It's uh, been locally owned, uh, locally bought uh, here in the state of Oregon. And uh, you've got Harman Kardon sound uh, is indicated down here. So it's a ton of car for the money. This is probably a $40,000, $48,000 car when it was new. And uh, now you're talking fifteen thousand dollars. It's a great um, the build quality, workmanship quality of components, uh, engineering, and uh, Mercedes for I think we're asking fifteen thousand dollars. It's a lot of car for the money. If you've got questions or want additional information, please feel free to contact us, and we can be reached at five zero three two two seven two three five four. Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.